Hello everyone, my name is Jeffrey Kennedy and welcome. As many of you already know, there are five core Elliott Wave patterns. The impulse wave, the diagonal, the zigzag, the flat, and the triangle. In today's short video, I'm going to focus specifically on the zigzag because it is a very simple way to identify a high confident trade setup in the direction of the primary trend. So let's begin. Okay, now the diagram in front of you is that of a zigzag. It is a simple three wave pattern that we identify as waves A, B, and C. Now you'll also notice in the title of this slide, uh, the notation 535. Now the reason that is significant is because what that does is it denotes the subdivisions of each of the underlying waves. For example, wave A will subdivide into five waves, wave B will subdivide into three waves, and wave C will also subdivide into three waves. This is what a zigzag looks like in a bull market. It's basically a three-wave decline. And in a bear market, you'll actually look for a three-wave rally. Again, five, three, and five. Now, one of the key characteristics of a zigzag is that it will be contained within parallel lines more often than not. So if you're looking at a price chart and you see a three-wave decline contained within parallel lines, it's basically an indication that that is a counter trend move within a larger uptrending market. And once complete, we can look for it to be more than fully retraced. Now in the next few slides, I want to show you some examples of this idea in action. Now the first slide we're going to take a look at will be that of sugar. Now notice the price action between say February and April. From the high that we saw here, we basically had a three wave decline, essentially contained within parallel lines. We did fall a little bit below the lower boundary line of the lower, what I call a corrective price channel. Nonetheless, this is exactly what I'm looking for whenever I'm looking for a high confident trade setup in the direction of the primary trend. Simply put, a three wave decline contained within parallel lines. Here's another example, and this example is in the wheat market, and this occurred in late 2020. We actually had a small top back in October, and then we had a down, up, down sequence, and again, notice the bulk of the price action we saw to the downside, slow, choppy, contained within parallel lines, clearly consisting of three waves, and as you can see, again, upon completion, led to a move up to new highs at the time. Now here's a really good example. This is in crude oil on the weekly price chart level and it basically identifies the price action that we saw from the 2016 low all the way to the high that we saw in 2018. Again, notice this is a three wave move, a zigzag contained within parallel lines. And once complete, did indeed give way to a full retracement of that pattern in the weeks and months ahead. For a very simple structure, again, I view this as to be one of the most high confident trade setups, especially if you're looking to trade in the direction of the primary trend. Well, if you're new to the wave principle and you're trying to figure out how to make it work for you, and what I mean by that is you're trying to identify high confident trade setups, my recommendation is to start with the zigzag. Remember, it must have the proper substructure, 535, and moreover, it should be contained within parallel lines. And this is exactly what I do in commodity junctures. Thank you.